What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Welcome back to another news roundup. So to kick us off with some disappointing news that Nintendo has disabled the Spot Pass feature in the 3DS application Swap Note, or as it's known in other regions outside of North America, Nintendo Letterbox. Basically constituting this application unusable, considering you're no longer able to send and receive messages. So the reason why Nintendo is taking such drastic actions is because people have been misusing the software and sending inappropriate material. And they know that many miners do use this application and they don't want them to be exposed to it. So I understand where Nintendo is coming from and why they are doing this, it does make sense, but they should have known beforehand before they even released the software that people were going to send inappropriate material. It's just bound to happen. But on the other hand, we still have the internet browser on the 3DS, and I guess you can still look up like inappropriate material that way. So it kind of doesn't make sense that they would take away Swap Note and not the internet browser too. But it doesn't really bother me that Nintendo has discontinued the use of Swap Note. I didn't really use it much anyways, I didn't really like it, but we don't know if we'll ever get it back. And on the flip side, something similar has happened to Flipnote Studio 3D over in Japan, considering the application is only available in Japan so far. But Nintendo has gone ahead and disabled the friend gallery service because of the same exact reason. People have been sending inappropriate messages. So I guess you won't be able to share animations with your friends. Now, I don't know what this will mean for the release of this application in other regions, whether or not Nintendo will just be dropping it altogether. Nintendo has been pretty quiet about it. But in other news that we might have some more evidence that Rocksteady is indeed working on a new Batman Arkham game and it might be releasing in 2014. Now I say this because some agency job listings have popped up for an unnamed British developer that matches career openings for Rocksteady, and it states that this developer's current project is tipped to be one of the most successful games of 2014, implying that it'll be released next year. So considering Rocksteady is known for making the Batman Arkham games, and Kevin Conroy, who is the voice of Batman in Arkham games besides Origins, has stated before some time ago in a tweet that he is working on a Batman game that is not Origins. So if we put this evidence together, this might mean we're going to be getting a Batman Arkham City sequel in 2014. Now I don't know what the game would be about, but maybe it has some sort of connection with the teaser clip that that was shown at the end credits of Batman Arkham Origins. We'll just have to wait and see. And finally is that Yacht Club Games has announced the three boss knights that will be playable in Shell Knight. So you'll be able to play the full game with these characters. They'll have their own unique abilities and even the story and dialogue will change a little bit to reflect these characters. But the ones that have been chosen include Spectre Knight, Plague Knight, and King Knight. So of course these will add replay value. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's Nintendo Crazy episodes. You can also so check out the gamingpixelshow.com to follow along for some more 3DS and Wii U news, but I'll talk to you later in the next video guys. Bye!